All right, saying goodbye. Another ball game will be played on Old Navin Field later today. It's going to be a little bit of rain and a few tears as fans of the old field at Tiger Stadium get to set to say goodbye, and a new field is coming in. How do you talk to a legend? Can you say goodbye to a shrine? Can you walk away from a treasure? That treasure, Tiger Stadium. Grandfathers, grandmothers, sons, daughters, grandchildren. Generations coming to games at the corner for decades. The stadium is gone, and for years, the field, Naven Field, remained. And for years, through a labor of love, people have been maintaining that field, preserving those memories. Somebody needed to cut the grass, and so we took it upon ourselves. Naven Field grounds crew just wanted to try to restore it to to a ball field and now it's a ball field once again I think I do it partly for to honor the uh, memory of my father because this is where I spent the most time bonding with him as a kid in the 1970s. Navenfield ground crew turning an eyesore into a tourist attraction in Corktown. But progress being progress, the Police Athletic League is building a headquarters on the site, and the decision has been made to replace Navenfield with artificial turf. A multi million dollar development rooted in preserving baseball's past in Detroit, giving kids a place to play in the future. All right, Tim Ritchie heads up Detroit Police Athletic League, getting set to break new ground on a new field right there at the corner. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, let's get right to it. AstroTurf versus Naven Field. It is a controversy now, so why artificial surface? Why was the decision made? Well, you know, we certainly respect everybody's passion down at the site, and there's a lot of people who have a lot of history and memories there. I did myself going there as a young person. Um, but, you know, we did a lot of research on this subject. We talked to experts. We wanted to make sure we got it right. And for Detroit PAL, we have over 13,000 kids that play with us, 1,600 kids in baseball, 3,200 in football. So we want to give as many of our kids and other people a chance to play on that field as we can. And so for us, synthetic turf is a more durable surface. It allows more hours of play. It allows more participants annually. You're talking about thousands of kids annually that we want to have a chance to play out there. And so for us, synthetic turf made best sense. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, certainly appreciate and respect everybody's thoughts around that site. But sure. we think we're going to be able to raise the history of the site. We've got the full dimensions, same orientation. Home plate is where home plate's been. Flagpoles where flagpoles always been. So people are really going to enjoy themselves, and those memories are going to come to life. So football, well, baseball, softball, and football all in the site, 13,000 kids. So you would think it would cost a lot to maintain a natural grass then there. Was that part of the equation? Yeah, I think so. You know, we did a survey of athletic directors around the state of Michigan, and we know the synthetic turf fields are kind of the wave, and most high schools are doing this now for a lot of the same reasons we're thinking about. We did a survey around the state and asked athletic directors to give us feedback, and what they said was more durable, more opportunities for participation, less expensive, less maintenance. So these are all the reasons that really we thought through, but, the, but really the, the biggest and most important is the number of young people, the number of participants you can get on that field. For us, it's going to be activating the site, making it sure that people are enjoying it, and that's really what the corner is all about. Two more questions about this before we get to the big groundbreaking. One, any concern about injuries on turf like that? And two, is there any happy medium that can be reached with maintaining the old Navin infield? Uh, so the um, injuries out there, so we found that there are less injuries on synthetic turf than there are on the natural grass. So this is studies that have been done. This is also what the athletic directors told us in the feedback. So we're not concerned about any more or less injuries on synthetic, uh, synthetic turf. Um, and then, you know, for us, it's contact football out there. And if you remember, the Detroit Lions used to play at that site. And that field would cut right into the infield. And so for us, you know, it just makes best sense to do a synthetic turf field because we are going to be playing lots of football games. On a rainy day, like today or yesterday, it's tough to get out there because you got to let the grass sit. And so when you've got a full day of contact football with those kids and their cleats out there, you know, you can really do some damage to some natural grass. And we want to keep playing on that consistently. Tim, 5 o'clock Wednesday, a big day. Uh, uh, shovels will be put in. What will we see at 5 o'clock on Wednesday? Well, at 5 o'clock, we're going to uh, have our inaug inaugural groundbreaking ceremony out there. So we're very excited by it. We've got Mayor Duggan and Senator Levin and Chief Craig will be there. We'll have police officers out there, PAL kids and families out there, and really have 
having a chance to break ground on the site for what will become an incredible athletic complex out there. We're talking about one of the finest youth athletic complexes in the region. 2,500 seats, dugouts, locker rooms, lights. We're going to have a headquarters there, a banquet center, a place that we're going to highlight the men and women of character that shape that culture uh, of the corner and also in Detroit. And we think it's going to be a really neat tourist destination. People are going to be able to see those people come to life. And we've got our own uh, Tigers legends that we want to thank and honor. And, uh, and you'll hear something more about that on Wednesday, too. Tim, thanks for coming in, answering our questions, and then previewing the, the new that's now coming in. I appreciate it. And, of course, uh, later on today at 2 o'clock, Weather permitting, friends get to say goodbye, Lauren, to Old Naven Field as it sits right now. Back to you. But a new history popping up on an already historic site. Thanks so much, guys.